Okay. Well, welcome everybody. We're going to have a live weather update, give you a chance to grab a cup of coffee or maybe uh, some green tea or whatever, you, maybe some herbal tea, whatever it might be. Uh, let's go ahead and show you what's happening now. As uh, we walk into what is uh, kind of a cloudy afternoon, are the clouds going to get productive? Well, the answer to that is yes. However, it's not going to happen, at least in the near term. So for this afternoon, uh, you will be in a fairly decent shape. If you have anything to do, go ahead and do it, as uh, we have cloud cover, but unproductive for the time being. We'll show you all of the whys coming up here as we dig into the weather details. First of all, Burke Lakefront Airport. Uh, first thing I want you to see is A, cloud cover, B, steady temperature. That temperature you see is from Burke Lakefront Airport and it doesn't really toggle that much. It was either 37 or 38 here in the last six hours. Uh, it is in the 40s away from the lake shore but you have to really go far into the southern part of the state in order to see some rainfall. So it is raining but you have to drive all the way down to Marietta for that. Uh, and uh, even if you went to Zanesville, that uh, that you're seeing is not really reaching the ground. A lot of cloud cover, but that cloud cover and the cold front settling south was responsible for quite a temperature reduction between yesterday and today at this time. To the tune of over 10 degrees at Hopkins, but it's even more impressive at Columbus. In fact, it's almost a 30 degree drop in Columbus from just 24 hours ago. However, that's going to change too because the frontal boundary has settled all the way down to Huntington. Notice Huntington is just to the south of the front. In other words, they're in the warm air, 59 degrees. But elsewhere, even Marietta has pushed down to 44 and virtually all of the temperatures locally, either in the upper 30s or low 40s, Right now, Hopkins Airport is at 41. So the rain to the south is not an issue. Let's pull the front out and you can see uh, just exactly how much of the state is in the cooler air, about three quarters of the state. That is going to change. And you see that low pressure system right now uh, in Oklahoma. That will track northeast, pull the front back north and so everybody will go into the 60s during the day tomorrow, not today. We're going to stay cold today, but 60s tomorrow, but it will come at a price. So the map's in motion right now showing that low pressure system beginning to pull the moisture northward. We'll stop the action right there. 3.30 in the morning. Look at that pile of rain. So if um, you wake up tomorrow morning at 3.30 and hear a lot of racket on your roof, it's going to be some periods of rain maybe even heavy at times, but by 11 and noon-ish, you see that little dry slot getting pulled up. We're actually going to break out into some sunshine and into the milder air by afternoon. So it's going to start off wet tomorrow, but if you're looking for a, maybe a little dry pocket, it looks like tomorrow afternoon will do the trick, but it will be windy. Winds will gust past 40 miles an hour in that dry slot, uh, it, as nice as it's going to be. And then the cooler uh, air will begin to curl back in as we head into uh, Sunday. So the rainfall probability will stay nearly nil until we get to about 11 or midnight. At that point, the rain starts getting ushered in and then goes smack dab up to 100%. 
2, 3, 4 a.m., 5 a.m. So tomorrow morning is a great morning uh, to just kind of lounge around inside, watch the rain, read a good book, and make breakfast. Eventually, the probabilities will come down a little bit by afternoon. So for the rest of today, mostly cloudy skies. Will the clouds be productive? No. So uh, if you're looking for a dry afternoon, you've got it. 45, though, we're going to stay on the cool side of that front with a light northeast wind. East winds will begin to pick up tonight, 5 to 15. The rain will redevelop probably somewhere around the midnight hour. So make sure that you tune in to Dante Jones tonight at 5, 6, 7, and 10. He will keep you updated as to where exactly that rain is. Now we will wake up tomorrow morning with a rainy and maybe even a thundery start. But the brighter breaks will come through in the afternoon. So briefly we'll get into the milder and the sunnier part of the system as temperatures shoot up to 62. But look at those winds, southeast to south, 15 to 25 with gust of 40. My hair might even might move on Saturday afternoon. That's uh, saying a few things. And so here's your eight day. Notice that there's no precip probability for Sunday. That's because skies will be partly to mostly sunny. But we pay the price because the cooler air will start to curl back in. High only 48 degrees as opposed to 62 on Saturday afternoon. So it's really six and one half dozen of the other. You'll have to make your choice. My choice would be for the sunnier day. So Sunday looks like uh, that may qualify. Once we get into next week, temperatures very close to normal. That would be upper 40s to near 50. And uh, there's really not much going on in terms of storm systems, just uh, maybe a light possibility of a passing shower Monday or an early Tuesday and then again at the end of the week. But the probabilities are fairly low. It's not going to be uh, the gush of moisture that we see tonight and early Saturday. Have a great weekend, everybody. Make sure you keep it right here, fox8.com. And, uh, of course, we'll see you tonight. I'll be here at 4 p.m. Dante Jones at 5, 6, 7, and 10 o'clock. Have a great Friday.